Hello everyone! Welcome to the Studio Make Arts tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to get a clean ink drawing without erasing our original sketch. It's a straightforward and fun technique, so let's get started. First, you'll need a non-photo blue pencil, a black ink pen, and some basic printer paper to draw on. You'll also need a photocopy machine loaded with printer paper. Step one is to make your sketch with the non-photo blue pencil. The sketch can be anything you like. A cute drawing of your pet, a design for your next craft project, the outlines for some fancy hand lettering, anything that you'd like the freedom to edit and play around with before committing to a final version. It's important to use non-photo blue, which is a specific color, because photocopiers won't be able to replicate the color when they make copies of your original drawing. It's the key to the entire technique. Step two is to ink your sketch using the black ink pen. I'm using a pigment pen here, but any black ink will work, from ballpoint ink to bottled ink applied with a brush. Black is the best ink color to use for this technique because it contrasts so strongly with the non-photo blue. But that doesn't mean you can't experiment with other ink colors though. Just keep in mind that not all photocopy machines can make color copies. If colored ink is used with a black and white photocopier, the colors will print as shades of gray. If you experiment and discover how your ink and photocopy machine work together, you can use this to your advantage. Once the ink is dry, it's time to use the photocopier. Machines vary, so consult your user manual or ask a staff member if you're using a machine at a copy center or library to learn how to make a copy. In this video, I'm using a Brother all-in-one laser printer in my home studio. I simply insert the paper into the feeder, press the copy button, and the machine does the rest. And there you have it. You can now use this clean ink drawing in a variety of ways. You could frame it as is, or color it with colored pencils, transfer it to another surface using gel medium or wintergreen oil. You could scan it and have it made into a rubber stamp, cut it out and use it in a collage project, or whatever necessity and imagination dictate. To review, all you need for this technique is a non-photo blue pencil, a black ink pen, printer paper, and a photocopy machine. The three steps are 1. Sketch with the pencil, 2. Ink with the pen, and 3. Make a photocopy. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Happy creating!